Yo, 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 welcome back, YouTubers. Obviously, you got me caught in off guard. Alright, today is something different, as promised to you all. Today, I'm going to bring out something special to you guys an unboxing. Looky, looky, since it's given me something early, obviously. This is a retro mini amp speaker. I found this in Kmart. All these other bits of the listings you'll find will be listed below. So, let's begin this by opening it up and see what it reveals. Right. All the anticipation sometimes when you get gifts galore, don't we guys? Looks like an attraction in there, or is that it? Something stuck in the bottom. Right. <laughs> Had to push something down there. That sounds a bit rude. Okay, obviously we've got here the base unit of the amp which obviously got the power button and some functionalities of the amp to amplify in and out from what I'm looking at and then the bass and treble functions. Apparently I can't... For the sound quality for the speaker it requires obviously will come out as the 5 watt speaker with 200 hertz as well as the 20 hertz frequency response. Also in saying this the power source is the DC 5 volt 0.6A by the micro USB or DC 4.5 volts if you're requiring those AAA batteries that are required. And you know me guys making music loud and proud. Obviously you've got a cord junction and a USB port where you can plug your phone in. Welcome back. Right, as I forgot to mention, to describe this bad boy here on my little new toy, the measurements is 15 centimeters long, 9 centimeters in depth. So if you want to carry it around you, you know, basically, you could by all means if you had a trusty pocket. As this is portable, you could by all means if you had a trusty pocket that's big enough, but I wouldn't, you know, recommend that, however. But what I would likely to suggest to you, you could probably place it on a desktop table next to you or even close by to your computer, as this bad boy does work on a computer feature, hence these, this supply functions that I mentioned briefly before. While I'm looking at the back here, as you can see, obviously, if you can see close enough, there is a power supply for the battery slot to be put in to power this bad boy if you really wanted it only as a battery operator with this. What we're going to do now, we're going to plug this bad boy in and see how this bad boy will work, even though, who needs the instructions anyway? It should be plain and simple, right? Anyways, moving on, let's plug him in into the back here. Obviously, battery power bank, if we need it. Need this little bad boy as well. And introducing someone else's phone I'm using for the time being, obviously, as this demo, as well as many other probably demo purposes that you might see me floating around with. Power lock. Mm. Let's just do a boogie while we're at it, uh, guys. Obviously, you know, finally got it to work. Funny that. As be with her electronic devices, it's just up one dog. But yeah, as you can hear, obviously, this is well doable for, as I said before, basically, for smartphones and your desktop computers or even your laptop, maybe. Basically, I'll, as I said before, I'll link the descriptions below where you can find this bad boy. So this ends my unboxing. Thanks for watching. And until next time, do what you love, love what you do. SB signing off. Ciao for now.